Okay, welcome to this lecture. Let's do the chest details. Now, um, remember in the, in the previous lectures, we add we added the fine details on the uh, front limbs and the paws. Just using the same brushes again. I'm just um using my clay strips brush. Let me just zoom in there. Just finding uh, our pectoralis major muscles. Purpose if to increase that, just grabbing that, just moving it, roughly aligning it, uh, fixing that silhouette and proportions. Go back to the clay strips brush and press F to decrease the brush size. And I want to, we're gonna start with this, just building up the, the secondary form, just carving that in, holding on control. As you can see, just carving in, uh, with that clay over there, and um. Just build up those forms. At this stage, I'm not even afraid to to make it more bumpy, like to to uh, to give it that bumpy surface. So we want to create that for our creature. Right now, we have symmetry turned on. Just coming in on the center line, building up those forms ever so slightly, as you can see right there. Just coming in there with the clay strips brush. And smoothing that out, hold down shift, smooth out the rough lines and moving out on top. I'm just gonna um, dig in there, hold down control or command on your keyboard. It's a bit too bulging out, so I'm just digging that in very, very hard, increasing my uh, pen pressure on the tablet, and then just uh, building the clavicle. And it's it's, it doesn't have to be anatomically correct, just having the anatomy as the foundation kind of helps us to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to have like a proper foundation for our creatures. Obviously, we do break the, um, the anatomy at some stage, but it's better to break something that you already know. Sweet, I'm just moving that out, uh, holding down shift. And then I'm gonna I'm I'm now building that. Let me, let's just build that uh, those those lines that we had there. I'm I'm thinking of some right now they are symmetrical, something we don't want, but we can fix that at the later stage. So just building these forms uh, around there. It's coming in with the clay strips brush connecting. Our deltoid with the the, the the pecked muscles, giving it a, a bigger brush. As, as you can see, just coming in like that, building that up, smoothing it with the holding down shift, having that bumpy surface again. For yeah, just combining the the uh, the deltoid with the neck now. Well, I see that I, I've I've done a lot of smoothing. So just building those forms. I like how the, the, the clay is looking over there. Just coming in, carving that in with the draw sharp. Just carving that, creating those lines, emphasizing those lines, as you guys can see. Sweet. Just moving around, I'm not staying in one place. I'm gonna change to, let's uh, change to the draw brush. I want to create some of those um, those lines, like it's veins, those muscles over there, as you can see. So just using the uh, the draw brush. This is a brush I, I really use, but then like in in instances like this, it's a very useful because it. It kind of creates that um, that smooth transition between uh, the surface, and then like for example for veins, I, I normally use that. You can see how for these muscle tendons, I'm using that without symmetry, just breaking that symmetry there at the center, because it does look nice anyway if you have symmetry at the center. So just making sure that we uh, don't have symmetry over there 
I'm just gonna dig that in like so I wanted to overlap like from the neck um, above the clavicle to the chest somewhere around the moving right through to the uh, to the humerus that or, or should I say to the deltoids over there right now these lines are very very rough they're just following a direction that I'm just imagining and again looking at some reference also just moving that uh, like that I like it with creatures again and I said again also that in Nietzsche and every forms you follow you you can go with them as long as you like them and, and, and as long as they look good because you are not um, you are not just um, forced to compile to to like any design unless you're doing like some concept and then that's a different topic but right now we we use like a bunch of references just trying to find uh, the details of, of the creature just moving that like that just carving that in still using the draw brush just um, hold on control in like certain areas like around the, the like pipe pipe line I I normally use the uh, um, the control brush to invert as you can see I'm smoothing out the the um the the end lines where these pipe ends uh, just doing that so it will have like a fading transition which is pretty useful so just having that like so These um, details, these these um, secondary forms and fine details, they they kind of they kind of require you to have all the primary forms in place to make your life uh, very very easy. Because it, it kind of takes time when when you're trying to add fine details, but the proportions or the primary forms are not right, you will end up going back and forth, seeing all the mistakes. So it's easy to find all these fine details. See, just carving that in. So where the there are these forms, I'm coming in just emphasizing uh, with with the uh, the draw sharp, emphasizing those lines, as you can see, coming ar around those lines without symmetry again because we broke that symmetry just because um, we are at the center line so that's just me just coming in um, around the just giving it that as you guys can see super super useful Alrighty, and building up those forms around the end of that and just moving it out. Hold on, shift on your keyboard. Just, just checking the proportions again. And then we switch to the draw shop. Let's just carve in here and continue with these uh, stretching, stretching muscles. Just having that. Like so. Sting that in, giving it like a big hole <laughs> over there. And it's now just adding, just smoothing that out. Those sharp lines. I'm loving that. 
as we go i'm gonna decrease the brush size and then same process coming in with the, the draw shop okay so right now we we want to do the um or like six pack or eight pack i don't know uh just coming in the the what they call this the anatomical name the abdominal I believe so the rectus abdominal muscles which consist of the four pack eight pack whatsoever depending on um which is visible and again remember we we're not using symmetry just moving that out we're just gonna build over here also and i'm giving it like not a straight they 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 tend to not be straight at this uh, at this stage just giving it that variation to it just moving that out again giving them some weird shapes let's change the uh, intensity here this if to decrease the brush size Let's F again. Just gonna hold down control and create that hole over there. We come up around that hole and build those forms. And again, the intensity being very very low, using a very very large brush. Like so. Just building that up. And around there. Just finding, just finding those forms, and I'm just gonna do some work on the rib cage also. Just covering it with some muscles. It will be doesn't have to be too precise. Just making sure that those details are lining up, as you guys can see. Gonna build that. Still using the the clay strip brush. I I like how it builds the forms. Like I'm using the the clay builder brush and Z brush. How it leaves those lines lines of clay. So. That's the brush I don't really use, just building up those forms around there. You can just smooth that out, hold on shift. Doesn't have to be too precise. Then again, smoothing that out. Go back to the draw shop. Now it's time to just come in with the draw shop and add those lines there. As you can see, I'm carving it in. Just coming in around those forms, not on top of them, but around where they end, as you can see, just emphasizing that with the uh, uh, the draw shop just carving and creating those lines those finer details controlling the 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 intensity with the, uh, uh, the the pen tablet as you can see smoothing it out if it went too overboard so i'm just gonna go around the picked over here where we built those forms, just emphasizing those shapes, smoothing where I'm going overboard, like that, it's coming in, like so, just building that side and then smoothing, just carving that,
does take a bit of time but just flowing with it and trying to find that like so and coming in on the other side I just remember that we don't have symmetry to it on <laughs> so so I was forced to do both sides oh man so just be careful of that it's it's very wise to 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 keep things symmetrical at this stage and not to um, break the, the symmetry very early but uh, at this stage it's not much of a bigger deal but then we, we kind of lost a lot of time with that so I'm just gonna grab the grab brush and just moving roughly aligning these um, the picked as they I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm not liking the shape and then I'm gonna turn on symmetry. It kind of takes long to turn on. I don't know why. I believe it's my blender that has a problem, but it's fine. Everything is looking very nice. Just checking the proportions again. So this is about it. Just the moving and just checking the silhouette and the proportions, and this is about it. Just looking and finding those mistakes, and see where I could um fix those proportions spend time looking at that and yeah just looking at that from far also kind of helps me to um to find that over there 